it's me, John, again, with a quick Geek and Dorks review. This is one is a little bit different because it's about a live event. I just wanted to put the word out there that um, if you have a chance to see Jerry Seinfeld doing stand-up, I highly recommend you try to get yourself a ticket and get yourself into that seat. Um, I've seen him twice now at the Pantages in Los Angeles. Uh, the last time was just over this past weekend. And I have to say that in terms of his comedy, he is firing on all levels right now. I don't know if he's been doing a lot of that work lately. Um, I saw him once a few years ago, and it was very good. I mean, if you're a fan of Seinfeld, you should definitely go check this out anyway. Um, but when I saw him a couple years ago, there seemed to be a bit like a theme of negativity that was kind of running through his material. Um, but this past time I saw him, that was completely gone. I feel like I was watching a pro in, at, in the top of his career. Um, it was really exhilarating, very, very funny. He didn't give the audience any chance to breathe, basically. People were just laughing and laughing and laughing, joke after joke after joke. And it's not, you know, a lot of people really complained about his comedy style originally because um, it was observational in nature. And while there's definitely some of that, um, you get this feeling about who he is as a person. He talks a lot about, you know, his relationships, about being a father, um, about what motivates him. Um, about the fact that he thinks that everyone that's living is bored and, you know, he did pretty well with Seinfeld and he can afford to go anywhere and do anything, but obviously he doesn't, you know, he just likes doing his shows. So um, it was really insightful. Great to see a TV legend on stage, but once again, I got a call back. I mean, honestly, he was better this past weekend than even in some of the stand-up segments that they filmed for the show Seinfeld. I really feel like his stand-up comedy is in top form at this point in his life, which is great, uh, especially for a 61-year-old comedian. He was relating with everyone in the room, and you had people ranging from their 20s all the way up into their 50s and 60s in that room, and he was hitting on all levels. So uh, if you get a chance to check out Seinfeld, I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. Also worth noting, if you are a fan of the show, you can check that out on Hulu now. Hulu has the rights to all the episodes of Seinfeld. Um, if you're, I know you have it if you're a Hulu Plus subscriber. If you're not a Hulu Plus subscriber, I'm not sure if they show them or how many they show. Um, but if you do have Hulu Plus, you have access to the entire Seinfeld library, which is a great mark in television history. And quite honestly, it's, it, it, I don't know that we're going to see many more sitcoms that are based on a worldview that is really one person's point of view like that. Um, you know, TV shows, just there's so many cooks in the kitchen nowadays that I think the message gets very diluted and they try to be a lot more to a lot more people and they ultimately kind of flatten out because of that. Um, Seinfeld, very creative for its time. The episodes still hold up and there is a huge nostalgia factor, of course, for anyone that is um, from the East Coast or loves the East Coast. So. Hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you at the end of the week with another brain scratch. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later.